There's something I wanted to say about a comment on what you said oh, um, sure. about having AI system try and detect fake videos. I used to think that was a good idea, and now I think it's kind of hopeless because of this arms race between the mm. detector and the generator. Mm. That's called gener generative adversarial networks, yeah. and that was the way they made good image generators before they had diffusion models. Um, I think people have switched now to saying it's basically hopeless to be able to detect fake videos. What you need to do is detect that a video is not fake. So you need to have a way of checking the provenance of a video. Mm. So for a political video, for example, you need to be able to get from that video to a website for the political campaign. And if you have the identical video on the website and you're sure that website's for that campaign, and of course, websites are unique, so that's not so hard. Um, then you can believe it. And if you don't get that, you can't believe it. And your browser can do almost all of that in the end. Mm -hmm. So your browser, just as nowadays when you get spam, if you've got a good browser, it tells you this is probably spam. You should be able to get videos where your browser says, this claims to be a video from the Harris campaign, but um, it's not, because it can check the website and see that it isn't the identical video there. I think we're going to do much better at getting, um, knowing that things are real because of the provenance. Mm. And the newspapers love that idea. The New York Times loves the idea <laughs> that the only thing you can trust is the New York Times. <laughs>